Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. What's up everybody, Baird here back again with Speca Tech. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that I enjoy doing and that is gaming on the home theater system and why you should be doing it as well. I particularly like reason number four, so make sure you stick around till the end. But before we get into all that, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe and tick the little bell icon so you can be notified when my next video drops. And if you do like this content, make sure you do hit the like button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. All right, guys, we're going to get straight into this one. So let's uh, start discussing my top four reasons as to why you should game on your home theater because top five and top 10 lists are overdone. So reason number one to game on your home theater system is the visuals. So chances are, if you have a home theater, that means you have a larger screen, whether it be a television or a projector. And the games nowadays and the next generation games uh, are really starting to take advantage of the screen real estate and provide you with some eye candy uh, as far as visuals go. So more and more game developers are starting to take advantage of 4K resolution along with HDR technology. Um, so the games that they are releasing nowadays are far beyond the days of uh, Nintendo and, and Mario and even PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. These games are far more technologically advanced as far as visuals go. Um, in some cases, it's hard to tell the difference between uh, live action or reality and video games. They are getting to be that good. So I suggest you check out uh, the visuals on some of these games. Games like uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, God of War. I mean, the visuals on these games are truly impressive. I mean, there's no other way to put it. So if you haven't played one of the modern day or current generation of games, I think your jaw will drop when you see some of the graphics and what they've done with some of these games as far as visuals go. They really do take advantage of your screen. All right, so that's reason number one uh, for gaming on your home theater. So moving on to reason number two, um, we've covered visuals, so now it's time to talk about the audio aspect of things. So obviously if you have a home theater, clearly you have a surround sound system of some sort. So whether it be a 5.1, a 7.1, or a 5.1, or 7.1.4.2, uh, you have some sort of surround sound system. So besides them having some real eye candy as far as uh, visuals go, uh, game developers have really upped their game as far as audio goes as well. Uh, things like explosion, gunfire, ricochets, uh, they sound very realistic. You can tell that there's been a lot of time and effort put into the uh, soundtracks of these games to make them sound realistic. Uh, games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Resident Evil 2, Star Wars, Jedi, Fallen Order have some real award-winning soundtracks that I believe that you're going to enjoy. I, for one, really enjoy the soundtrack on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Gunshots, explosions, ricochets just sound really authentic. Uh, they feel like they're coming from inside the room. Obviously, that has a lot to do with the surround sound system that you have, um, but you can just tell that these uh, sound effects engineers put a lot of effort into the sound of this game. So besides all the ear candy going on with the soundtracks, another benefit uh, to modern day games is the surround sound effects. So they've all obviously put a lot of effort into the surround sound effects. Your surround speakers are going to get a workout from these soundtracks. Uh, if you have enemies coming up behind you, you're going to hear footsteps coming up behind you. Unless, of course, they're using a perk to silence that sound. Uh, if there's gunfire going on on the right side of you, you're going to hear gunfire coming from the right side of you. If there's gunfire to the rear left, you're going to hear gunfire to the rear left. So you're always going to know where the action is going on in the, in the map. And of course, this just isn't specific to first person shooter or action games. Uh, game developers are starting to use these uh, technologies and surround sound uh, more and more across a wide genre of games. So one last aspect to cover uh, when discussing audio is uh, the height channel. So more and more games are starting to utilize height effects in their games like Dolby Atmos and DTSX. Unfortunately right now the list of games is fairly small. Uh, it's obviously growing and I believe with the next generation of consoles it's going to grow even more. Uh, but right now if you do have uh, height effects like a 5.1.4 or 7.1.4 uh, you will have some games that utilize that but it's not as big of a list as I would like but I believe that is coming with the next generation. 
All right, guys, that sums up uh, reason number two. So moving on to reason number three is the storylines of these games. So chances are, if you're into home theater, that means you enjoy movies. And why do we watch movies? Uh, usually for the visuals, the audio, and the stories. In the modern day big blockbuster games, uh, game developers are putting a lot of effort into the uh, development of the story of the game itself and it really does show when you play the game. If you're playing the campaign or the story mode of these games, uh, it plays out like a movie. Like it really does draw you in. It, it, it sucks you in into the storyline and uh, you find yourself watching cutscenes when you used to try and always skip them. Now you want to watch them because you want to see the story. You want to see this um, almost like a a movie that you're involved in unfold in front of you. Uh, it really is entertaining. And that being said, there's going to be a list of games uh, that suit any sort of preference or any sort of genre preference, uh, whether you like horror, action, shoot 'em up, murder mystery. So rest assured, there's going to be uh, a list of games that is going to suit your preferences and you are going to find entertaining. And the stories of these games are going to be as involved and complex or as simple and easy as you want them. It's really going to be up to you and your preference and your choice. All right, so moving on to reason number four as to why you should game on your home theater, uh, which is friendship and social interaction. In today's day and age with COVID and everybody self-isolating and trying to go out as little as possible, uh, it actually does help you interact with uh, friends or even make new friends. So a lot of modern day games have what's called multiplayer uh, or an ability to connect online, which allows you to connect with people all over the world uh, or next door even and chat with them. So whether you just want to party up with one of your buddies and go do some two versus two in Call of Duty Modern Warfare or get a larger group together and do some team deathmatch or maybe you want to get a group together and go run around the wild wild west in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can do that in today's games. Just make sure you have a headset with a microphone uh, so that you can chat with each other. Uh, obviously, if you're using a surround sound system, you're not going to want to use a two-ear headset. Uh, they have headsets designed for that that kind of cup over the ear and allow for the sound to come around. Uh, but they do have a speaker in there so that you can just hear uh, the people that you're speaking with. And then, of course, they have a microphone so that you can discuss. Or if your uh, family is sleeping and you don't want to wake everybody up, you can just get a headset with a microphone and all the sounds will come through uh, the earphones. And they've done a pretty good job of being able to use uh, directional uh, surround sound with just the uh, earphones as well. So you can hear if enemies are coming from behind you or to the left, right and front uh, and that sort of thing. They've done a good job with that as well. So it actually can be a great night in. Uh, to get together with your buddies, maybe have a drink while you're uh, playing some Red Dead Redemption or some Call of Duty or some uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, it actually can be a really entertaining night in. That sums up my list of reasons why you should be gaming on your home theater. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And maybe, just maybe, those of you that don't game on your home theater may reconsider after watching this video. Uh, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe, tick the little bell icon so you can be notified when my next video drops. And if you enjoyed the content, guys, please do hit the like button. It really helps out the algorithm. And as always, stay techy.